Gia Group is one of the world's largest technology solution providers for the food processing industry, pharmaceutical processes and the chemical industry. Our cafeteria is a very popular spot for all employees, regardless of the field of work, to enjoy lunch together or have a chat over an espresso. COVID-19 and the lockdown in March 2020 forced us to close this spot to protect our employees from the virus. We want to fully reopen our cafeteria with our employees' health and safety as our top priority, while following governmental recommendations and legal requirements. As the pandemic continues and new information emerges, we've learned that aerosols can play an important role in the risk of infection. As a result, the idea was to recreate our cafeteria as a full digital twin to simulate the airflow and identify possible virus hotspots and develop appropriate countermeasures. From the outset, it was clear to us that, firstly, simulation is always a winning initiative as we gain technical knowledge, and secondly, it had to be done quickly and we needed expert knowledge. This is why we didn't do the simulation ourselves, but commissioned our long-term software partner, Dassault Systems, to do the flow analysis. The results were surprisingly clear. We gained both a deeper understanding of the airflow in our cafeteria and of the contamination of surfaces within the area. Based on the results of the simulation, we can now implement specific measures such as the rethinking of the entrance and exit concept, as well as an adapted seating arrangement. The simulation helps us to keep our employees vigilant. The color code is self-explanatory and easy to understand, also for non-experts. Everything that's red requires optimization, such as the ventilation system. It's fantastic that not just any building, but our cafeteria was simulated using real-life conditions, including people, to reveal possible risks. Everyone can easily understand from the simulation results how the virus can spread, for example, if you cough or sneeze. So all this was done to give all employees and visitors the best possible protection for the reopening of the cafeteria. It was great and agile teamwork with Dassault Systems, and in less than two weeks, our results were available, which helped us to improve our decision-making. We expected that the results could make 20 to 30 percent of the decision for us. However, with the findings, we've gained a confidence level of 60 to 70 percent. We're confident that with our additional measures based on the simulation, we'll be able to reopen the cafeteria soon. <laughs>